the United Kingdom is gearing up to manufacture up to 60 Boxer infantry armored vehicles. These high-performance machinery will cater to both the needs of the British Army and markets across Europe and beyond. Production of the Boxer Armored Fighting Vehicles AFVs, will take place in facilities at Telford and Stockport. Current reports suggest that both plants are expanding their production capabilities to accommodate this new project. The UK has plans in place to acquire a total of 623 vehicles of this kind. The first batch of 117 vehicles will be made in Germany, while the remainder, a hefty 506 will roll off the production lines in Telford and Stockport. The first pair of these Boxer AFVs have reportedly touched down on UK territory. These are prototype models that have undergone testing by personnel from the British Army. According to local reports, these evaluations are spearheaded by the esteemed Royal Regiment of Fusiliers. The UK government reasserted its commitment to the Boxer program on 31 March 2018. A few days later, on 3 April, they declared the selection of Boxer to meet the British Army's Mechanized Infantry Vehicle MIV, requirement. On July 19, the UK Ministry of Defence shared its plan to acquire between 400 and 600 Boxer vehicles. They're even considering the possibility of adding up to 900 more. This could bump up the total purchasing number to a whopping 1,500 units. Given the UK's ambitious order and their renewed partnership, we're now exploring potential local manufacturing and export opportunities for these Boxer vehicles. What we're looking at here is a confirmed order of 285 units, diversified into different types based on functional needs. This includes 85 infantry carriers, 60 vehicles used by engineering sections, 62 for reconnaissance or fire support, and 28 dedicated to carrying mortars. Additionally, there's a plan to modify 50 of the armored personnel carriers, also known as APCs or MIV Rep, into repair vehicles. Note that specifics for these may alter depending on the availability of initial resources. In summary, a significant order of 177 Boxer vehicles in the C4I configurations has been placed. This includes 123 command and control vehicles, 19 observation post vehicles, 24 beyond line of sight observation platforms, and 11 EW and SIGINT platforms. Surprisingly, 61 of these will be used as ambulances. There was an unexpected rise in orders in April 2022, adding another 100 units to the count. However, no specifics were given regarding these additional units. The total order count now stands at 623 Boxer vehicles. The Boxer stands out as a multi-role vehicle due to its exceptional size and weight, far surpassing its contemporary counterparts at the time of its creation. The design of the platform drive module situates the driver on the front right side, with the power pack adjoined to the left. This MTU Allison power pack is hailed for its practicality, given it can be conveniently replaced out in the field in a mere half hour. Boxer vehicles in production boast a broad range of armaments. These could be as light as a 7.62mm machine gun fixed atop a remote weapon station, or as heavy as a 30mm cannon placed inside a turret. Various armament options are thus available to accommodate diverse mission requisites. A large percentage of boxers that are currently in service feature a remote weapon station for self-defense. A notable specification of Dutch vehicles includes the installation of the Protector M151 RWS from Kongsberg equipped with a 12.7mm heavyweight machine gun. The construction of the Boxer is robust, forged from solid all-welded steel armor. An option to add on the AMAP-B module-based applique armor kit exists, dependent upon the expected threat level of the mission at hand. These AMAP-B modules are derived from the IBD Diesenroth AMAP modular armor package and are carefully mounted onto the vehicle with shock-absorbent fixtures. Artec affirms the ability of the vehicle to resist the force from anti-personnel and large anti-tank mines of an unspecified type, be it under the wheel, platform, or even side attack. Additionally, early statements suggest that the boxer's primary armor holds resistance to 14.5mm armor-piercing ammunition in conformity with Stanag 4569 Level 4.